I actually started working with um, young women who had brittle diabetes, who had diabetes that was poorly controlled, and uh, physicians got us in to try and fix it, as it were, because they knew that the problems were psychological. They were squirting their insulin down the sink, and that obviously doesn't do a great deal of good for a diabetic control. And we tried to understand why. Several people tried various programs, mainly cognitive behavioral programs, behavioral programs, a uh, bit of reward, bit of uh, punishment, nothing worked. Um, so we started something quite simple, which is just talking to them about their lives. And remarkably, their diabetic control improved from talking about their parents, talking about their boyfriends, from talking about school problems they had. Nothing particularly significant or important. It wasn't uh, terribly dramatic, really. We figured out, look, all that's going on here is that these people do not have a language for talking about their thoughts and their feelings. And as soon as they start talking about their thoughts and their feelings, they don't have to do crazy things. Life is rubbish, you know, for all of us. And we all have uh, negative experiences. But uh, if you don't have a good way of managing those experiences, you get overwhelmed by them, and then you end up having to do crazy things. If you can talk about your feelings and action and your thoughts and action, you don't actually have to do immediately. You don't have to be so impulsive. 